Hey everyone, this is Mr. Free and welcome to my Let's Play of Illusion of Time to the SNES. It's also known as Illusion of Gaia if you live outside Europe, and I absolutely adore this game. It's got fantastic gameplay, it's got brilliant soundtrack. I think I've every piece of soundtrack in this game has stuck in my mind. And I first played this when I was about five, oh, look at 1994. So it came out when I was three, and I started playing it I think when I was five or six, so it was about 16, 17 years ago and I haven't played it in a long time and I just randomly just thought you know what I'm gonna play it and then <laughs> well just as I started to do this here I thought you know what why sh why don't I actually let's play it so that's what I'm gonna do this game is slightly RPG as you see there it's so you saw start journey but it's not really RPG based at all you don't need to change the buttons or anything it's mostly action and advent action and adventure wow I can't speak that's not good school and there's no tutorial at the beginning my name is will a year has passed since i went to the tower of babel with my father i don't know if that's babel or babel i think it's babel i don't know my father and his party met with disaster somehow i made it back to south cape wow that's a bit hazy there i still can't believe my father is gone i'll never believe it when i grow up i'll be an explorer and see the world somewhere i will meet my father it's gotta hope. I believe that noise is supposed to be the school bell. That's all for today's lesson. You four do your best not to fall behind. Demons have appeared outside outside of town. That's a random thing to just come out. If you go very far, you must go with your parents. Lovely. I'll see you guys at the usual place. I have to go home first. I'll see you guys there later. If you don't hurry home, your mother will think that you have kept that you were kept after school. <laughs> the chuckles. Yeah, I'm not going to do individual voices for people because I'm no good at that type of thing, so I'll just be using my ordinary voice. And now we can move. So yeah, no tutorial. We get straight into it. Let's talk to Lance. Like always, the cave at the seashore. So that's, uh, I presume, where he was talking to. Oh, well, pre... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> the world shines on brightly through... Wow! I cannot speak today, that is not good. On Bradley through eternity. This is not good. Right, anyway. Anyway, let's come to the roof, which is a very strange thing to be able to do to go from a classroom, but and we see this. And we can enter it. And this has got some great, like on om ominous music. I am Gaia, the source of all life. See this, I prefer the the title Illusion of Gaia because it, it just kind of makes more sense, but anyway. I will help you on your journey. Only one with the dark power can see this space. You are the chosen one. A little bit cheesy, but... In the dark space you can record a travel journal. Stop there before you depart. So basically, this is just a save. Finish recording. Yes, I will continue our journey. So that's basically a save and a save and quit. Oh, and we can see we can attack. We attack and you can jump attack. You do that by pushing the attack and then forward. You can kind of delay it a bit. But yeah, let's go back. So yeah, this game gives you no explanation. So when I was like five years old and the only game that I ever played before this was like Mario on the Game Boy. And I'm just like, what do I, what am I doing here? Anyway, we come behind here and we will find, if we push the action button, a red jewel. This will be explained if you jump down here and speak to this guy. I will be collecting all red jewels, so this is going to be a complete run, 100%. Because you get a secret boss and a secret level. So this guy is the jeweler gem. You can give him your red jewels. So let's give him our red jewels. Hmm, this is a rare jewel, let me hold it for you. There are now one jewels in the room. So let's just wait to see. No, let's see your inventory. I will give you goods for the jewels as written on the list. So basically, when we collect jewels, when we collect a certain amount of jewels, we get whatever's corresponding to the amount. So if we, when we get three, we get a herb, or what? Well, this is another thing that I'm gonna explain in a bit in the game, but that's gonna come later. At five, we get defense up, eight, life up, 12, strength, and at 50, which is all of them, you, you get his secrets. So I'll be doing that. Right, just wanted to see it. Once you hold up a red jewel, you'll ha you'll have sorry you'll have to come run to my place. That's strange how we said that because you actually don't. I am a famous master of disguises. If you saw me in another town, you wouldn't know me. Well, 
interesting. Yeah, he just switches different people, and I've just fast forwarded it by accident. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> Emulator zone. Right, where's that guy gone? Seriously? <gasps> no! No way! Oh my word. Right. I was. Okay, anyone who has played this game before me, uh, as well as me, knows that this guy, to get that red jewel, is a pain in the backside. You have to keep entering and exiting that cave until he comes, uh, until he arrives there, and it can take up to 15 minutes, and it is a pain. I thought I was going to have to do a fast forward montage, but I did not know it was physically possible for him to do it before you go in the cave, and that was the, on first try, that's amazing, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> That's fantastic. Right, let's, let's go in some places. Oh, sorry. That was text. And it was basically saying this is Lance's house. Which is our friend with the green hair. And we can walk through characters. Which is actually very convenient. So they don't block us off. If we come down here. We get our third red jewel. So now we can actually get that herb. From I'm going to cough in any minute. I could just feel it in my throat. This is going to be... A horrible first day of recording right now you can see this guy's come to here so gosh I can't pull it up he was talking about that teapot that we just got that I cannot believe he was there that is just amazing I'm glad I don't have to go through that that would have been an extra 10-15 minutes of me working trying to get that so that's three red jewels already one on the roof near the bell one in Lance's house and one from the guy uh, who was fishing I don't know why that come in the score. I'm sorry. I don't know why. I haven't played this game in years. I've played and completed it many times, but I do forget some stuff. Right. He's holding one. Let's just give it to him. So this is a red jewel. There are now three. You've collected more than three jewels. Well, we've actually collected exactly three, but okay. According to the list, you get the herb. Or the herb, as any <laughs> apparently everyone else pronounces it. In, in England, we pronounce herb with a H. We, we do not sat, give it silent. So instead of saying herb, we say herb. But, and in this game, when you pick up a herb, it says you found an herb. So that always was strange to me as a kid because I was like, shouldn't, shouldn't it be a herb? But it's going the, uh, go the rest of the world's favour for this game. I just never thought you'd ever silence the H. Well, we just don't. Right, so that's three herbs. I'm sorry, I am going to be saying herbs. That's probably going to annoy a lot of people. Right, let's go to the cave. See how he's moved again. I cannot believe that. That's fantastic. Right. It was natural for the four friends to call this seaside cave their second home. It does look pretty cosy. Just need a little fire in there. Cause I see some water dripping on the left-hand side. Usually, when lessons were done at the school, they gathered there to talk and play games until sundown. Nice. Looks like they're playing some cards. Don't know exactly what they're playing. What is it, Will? It's late. Well, you told me to come here, to be honest. I'm playing cards with Seth. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to win again for sure. Oh, music went. Suddenly, Eric rushed in with a desperate look on his face. Oh, so dramatic. Ah, news, big news. The Princess of Edward Castle has run away. Wow. They say that she has come to South Cape. That's all? You came in such a hurry that I thought something really big had happened. The Princess is probably that spoiled girl, Kara. The one you like so much. Liar! The soldiers will come here looking for her. The soldiers from Edward Castle look so cool. I want a steel helmet too. And back to normal music and daily life. So yeah, that was just basically saying the princess has run away and she's come here. Now if we go to stand to, next to Eric, we'll start a little cutscene. Everyone's here, what should we do today? I want to see Will's mysterious power. You haven't seen it? He can move things without even touching them. He moved the statue that's in the corner of the cave. Show me again. Okay, so... I believe it's X or Y. Or oh, the left bump is... There we go. Oh, it moved. And <laughs> the old jumps. Awesome. I believe we just go back there now. Simples. Or do we speak to someone? 
oh yeah, speak to lands. Next, pick a card, any card. I'll pick, I'll put four cards face down. Pick the one you think is the Ace of Diamonds. A little bit of a spoiler here. It doesn't actually matter which one you pick because you're so awesome. You're gonna pick the right one no matter what. I don't know why I couldn't put them on the table, but yeah, I'll, I'll just pick this one. I don't even know which one that is. That's probably the second one. Yeah, it was. And it was the Ace of Diamonds. I'm skipping text, sorry. I really need to stop pushing buttons. I'm speechless. Hey, Seth, this is some type of psychic power, right? Yeah, it must be some kind of psychic power thing, Imajigger. If I didn't know better, I'd think it was magic. Most people have five senses. Sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. I think Will's psychic power is a kind of sixth sense. What Seth says is too complicated for me to understand. Seth, let's play one more game. <laughs> wow. It was kind of simple how he explained it. I don't think it was really that complicated. And let's leave the cave. And, ooh. It was already dark by the time Will left the cave. So this is now when you'd start doing this whole malarkey of running in and out of the cave and hoping for that guy to uh, come with the fishing pot. But I don't have to because I've had the luckiest run I think anyone could probably ever have at starting this game in terms of getting that red jewel. I don't have to mess about. Now let's go to our house. This is my house. The pie that Grandma Lola is making smells really great. Oh, I love pie. Pie is like one of my favourite things ever. You put some steak pie in front of me, I'm happy. And um, what is a pig doing? Yeah, the pig's wrecking the room. But why is there a pig in my house? Oink, oink. That was obviously what the pig was going to say. And we've been pushed out of the way by a pig. And who do we have here? It's Kara. Hamlet, I'm not going to do a woman's girl's voice by the way, so yeah, just letting you know. Hamlet, you shouldn't snort at strangers. Is this your house? Yeah, so? You don't want to hear me do a girl's voice. It's, you, you're never going to hear me do it. It's, it's horrible. Frankly, you look a little shabby. Well, excuse me. Your father? Mother? Not here, huh? Wow, that was a little uh, direct. If you knew they weren't here, you maybe could have looked into it a little bit, but anyway. Is this a picture of your parents? My father's an explorer. He... I know, old Olman, the explorer. They say he was lost. He'll he'll be back someday. I said that wrong, but never mind. Are you sad? No. Why? Are you, she's so, like, straight and blunt. I'd be sad if it was me. I'm sorry. There we go. There was the first, like, kind of... The word's gone out of my mind. Sympathy. Anyway, is there a piano? That was a bit random. Is there a piano here? No, there isn't. But Grandma Lola is a great singer. They're singing upstairs now. They have such loud voices. Those exclamation marks. Exclamation marks. Wow. Right, and we can move again. Let's go upstairs. To our grandpa and grandma. Welcome home, Will. When I sing opera, I lose track of the time. Dinner's not ready yet. Pie smells lovely. Oh my, I haven't sung like this in a long time. Your grandma, Lo grandmother Lola used to be such a singer. I'm, I'm reading horribly wrong. I excuse myself, I'm sorry. I fell in love with her voice. That's why I married her. <laughs> oh you, bringing up a thing like that. Will, you shouldn't be surprised to hear that. The girl who, sa who was singing with me a minute ago. Oh. No! A scream from downstairs. I think we gathered that from the shriek of a no. Uh oh, everyone's looking around, it's panicking. It's that girl screaming. And you could be a little quicker going downstairs, but... Oh, oh dear. I think those are those guards with the cool shiny helmets that Eric wanted. I think it was Eric who wanted them. Let me come stand here. Princess, I've been looking for you. I don't know you, be gone. What are you saying? If I don't take you home, I'll lose my head. What do I care if you lose your head? Princess, do you think I have nothing better to do than chase you down? I must take you home. It's the king's orders. Uh oh. Not getting through with them. He looks like he's pulling her by her hair. It's probably not the best way to go about it. 
I'm sorry I lied to you. I'm King Edward's daughter, Kara. I feel as though we've met before, as if we're good friends. Wow. That was a bit random to just put on me, but yeah. What an event. And it all goes quiet. And the regular music kicks back in. So, that girl likes to play practical jokes. <laughs> I think she just isn't happy with her home at the minute. Edward Castle. There's a big viaduct under that castle. Your grandfather designed it. What? Really? Oh, why did I skip that? I was trying to move. I thought it was finished with the text. I need to just be calm and slow. Anyway, there's a prison under the castle. It's built like a maze to keep the prisoners from escaping. Okay, why didn't they just have guards there, like, that would, you know, sort them out if they did try and escape, but anyway. I feel bad that I built a prison where people disappear and are never heard from again. Yeah, that is pretty guilty. Enough serious talk. Let's eat dinner. I've made a delicious pie. Let's sit at the table upstairs. Okay, even though this table kind of looks more like a dining table and dining area, but actually, I suppose there's chairs up there I just saw. We sat down to a feast of really snail pie with whipped cream. That sounds, in all honesty, completely disgusting. I only got one piece, thankfully, but Grandpa Bill ate half the pie. I thought he was going to say ate a lot. That night, Will dreamed that Kara and he took a trip around the world. Wow, okay. Cool. Ah, oh, keep doing it. I'm so sorry. It, it pro I think it said something like, that morning he woke up, just literally like that. I'm so sorry I'm skipping text, I'm making a complete hash of this. I had more snail pie for breakfast, that's so disgusting, he left me a slice. No thank you. Good morning Will, a letter, oh great, this is not going to be good, a letter has come for you from King Edward. This is what is written in the letter. Bring the crystal ring from Ullman's things to Edward's castle, signed King Edward. I've been in a bad mood ever since I saw this letter. Oh well, I'll teach you a spell. Okay. I'll teach you a spell. When I'm upset, humming this tune makes me feel better. Lola hummed a strange melody. That's pretty. Even though Will had never heard it before, it seemed oddly familiar. Interesting. You've learned Lola's melody. And that is actually, like she said, kind of, not a spell, but it kind of is. You'll see later. And we can move again. Be careful. So that's it. We can, a crystal ring. Never heard of it. Like there was, there was nothing like that in the luggage your father Ullman left behind. Maybe we could go to Edward Castle. We could see the princess. He, whoa, that's... Is he a pervert or something? I'm just going to walk away. Right, so yeah, if we tried to leave earlier, he would have, like, that stopped us. But we will actually be able to leave. King Edward has summoned you to the castle? Well, just be careful. I will do. And this takes us to the world map. I am... I think this is a sound place to end the episode, so thank you all so much for watching. I'm sorry that I've made a complete hash over speaking and skipping text, but yeah, I'm so sorry about that. I'll, make sure. <laughs> I'll try and do better. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.